This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. Twenty-eight Earthbending Abilities Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over 28 Earthbending Abilities. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Earth and Stone Levitation The most common attack involves levitating nearby pieces of earth and stone of numerous sizes, more powerful benders can move larger masses, and propelling them at foes with punching or kicking motions. Number 2. Earth Block Earthbenders can bring up blocks of earth and launch them at their enemies. The Dai Li use this technique against Team Avatar during the Day of Black Sun. Number 3. Earth Column A more powerful version of rock projectiles, this technique involves forcing columns of rock out of the ground. Using a similar principle, an earthbender can shoot a small stream of ruts and protrusions from underground at their opponent. This can also be used to enhance the bender's jumps. It is, however, limited to the ground and does not have the same range as a rock projectile. Number 4. Earth Compression It is possible for earthbenders to compress large chunks of rock into smaller, denser chunks, or to compress several smaller chunks into one big piece of rock. Haru and his father Tyro used this technique, compressing several small pieces of coal into one big coal boulder. The fact that two earthbenders were required to perform it suggests that this technique is quite difficult. Number 5. Earth Gauntlet a much less advanced version of earth armor that can be used to throw back opponents with hard, solid force. Aang used this technique when fighting against Azula on the drill. The technique is useful in that it grants some level of the protection of earth armor, but allows the rest of the body to remain flexible. Number 6. Earth Hand or Mannequin An earthbender with a decent grasp of sculpting can craft replicas of human appendages or bodies from any rock source and move them from place to place. While playing King of the Hill, Toph made a large hand to grab and toss Aang to the side. When Toph was pretending to be Fire Lord Ozai as part of a training exercise, she used this technique to simulate the Fire Lord's bodyguards. Number 7. Earth Launch While earthbenders like being rooted to the ground, with some like Toph being unable to see in the air, they can quickly move rock beneath them and launch them several tens of feet into the air, whether to catch airborne opponents or to travel faster. Toph and Bumi did this during the battle at Wulong Forest and the liberation of Ba Sing Se, respectively. Bolin has shown to be able to launch himself into the air with earthbending, as was seen when he escaped the Earth Queen's palace. Number 8. Earth Material Manipulation Earthbending is not limited to rock or soil alone. An earthbender can also manipulate coal, gems, crystals, and other earth-based materials like meteorites and genomite. Number 9. Earth Shelter this can be used by earthbenders to create a shelter or dome which can provide instant shelter in the wilderness. Toph often created shelters like these to sleep in while Team Avatar was traveling, and used it to create a safe place where Ying could give birth. It can also be used to trap enemies, but this application would not work against an earthbending opponent who would be able to cancel out the technique. These can also be created in combat as a defense against non-earthbending attacks. Number 10. Earth Sinking more advanced earthbenders, such as the Boulder, Master Yu, and General Fong, can forcibly sink their opponents into the ground, imprisoning them or even suffocating them in the earth. This technique was used by General Fong to subdue Katara. Jianju was particularly versed in this technique, being able to commit mass burials, earning the moniker of Gravedigger. Number 11. Earth Smash Earthbenders can easily destroy rocks and boulders with punches and kicks, even if they have a small amount of muscle mass. This technique is useful when facing other earthbenders, as it allows the earthbender to destroy any earthen projectiles sent at them and break out of imprisoning techniques. However, it does not seem to affect objects not made of earth. Number 12. Earth Wall Earthbenders can create walls of earth, which can be used for both defense and offense, as well as for practical things like construction. Number 13. Earthquakes and Fissures Striking the ground with feet, fists, or hammers, as shown by Gao, creates localized earthquakes or fissures to throw opponents off balance. The same process can be used to sculpt a landmass or slice large chunks of rock clean off a surface to create avalanches or rock falls. More advanced earthbenders can make narrow fissures for precise attacks. Number 14, Ground Shift. Earthbenders can alter the ground beneath others to move them out of their way. 
the sudden movement can be disorienting to the target. Number 15. Quicksand Earthbenders can turn certain surfaces to quicksand to immobilize an enemy, or to create a soft landing for themselves if they should fall from a height. Sandbenders can also do the reverse of this, compacting sand together to create harder projectiles or a firmer grip on the ground. Number 16. Rock Cuff Earthbenders can quickly fashion cuffs out of rock to immobilize their opponents. Number 17. Rock Hanging If an earthbender is attached to or wearing a piece of rock, he or she can attach it to other stone surfaces and remain off the ground for long periods of time. The Daili are the only ones that have demonstrated this ability through the use of their earth gloves, giving them the ability to cling onto a rocky surface. Number 18. Rock Shield A levitated slab of rock can also double as a shield when positioned in front of a bender. This can also be performed with a slab or sheet of bedrock thrust out of the earth's surface. The shield can be hurled at the opponent for quick retaliation. Number 19. Rock Slide If an earthbender is near a cliff or a mountain, he or she can cause many rocks of a multitude of sizes to rain down on his or her opponent. The canyon guide demonstrated that it would be possible to redirect the path of a rock slide. This was shown when he protected his refugee customers from getting crushed. Number 20. Sand Spout Similar to both the water and the air spout, an earthbender can manipulate the fine sand particles to form a whirling column. The sandbenders use this technique to propel their sand sailors through the Si Wong Desert. Number 21. Slab Shackles With proper timing, an earthbender can bind an opponent's arms with triangle-shaped slabs. This technique is generally used if the opponent is in a vulnerable position, for example on their knees. This technique was first used by Aang against Ozai to keep him in place while Aang took his bending away. It was later used by Aang to detain Yakone while he removed his bending. Number 22, Water Filtering. When working in concert with a waterbender, an earthbender can purify polluted water. The waterbender suspends the polluted water in the air while the earthbender removes the pollutants. Number 23, Dust Cloud. By shaking the ground back and forth, earthbenders can create dust clouds of various sizes to provide cover, the particles of which can also be manipulated themselves. Number 24, Dust Stepping. A variation on the mist stepping and fire stepping techniques used by waterbenders and firebenders, by creating very thin pillars of increasing size, a fast earthbender can use this technique to quickly scale walls. It was invented by the Flying Opera Company, where it was used specifically by Lek, who later taught the technique to Avatar Kyoshi. Number 25, Earth Armor. Earthbenders can bring rocks, dust, pebbles, or crystals around them and mold them to fit their body and create something similar to armor. They can also hide inside the earth by bending the rock around them as a shell. Later, it is demonstrated by Toph that metal can be used as armor as well. The earth armor was used by Toph in a training exercise with Aang. Aang later uses this technique with crystals against Azula, and again with rocks against Combustion Man and finally Ozai. This earthbending move is great for defense, especially against fire. It is not as effective for offensive moves since it limits the practitioner's range of motion. Number 26, Earth Bomb. By sending a rock toward the ground, earthbenders can cause massive damage as well as throw their opponents off their feet. Aang used it against Zuko, almost gaining the upper hand of the battle before the Daili intervened. Number 27, Earth Tunneling. Earthbenders can move through the earth to outmaneuver their foes either by opening tunnels or by pulling the earth past them, literally swimming through the ground. Number 28, Earth Wave. High-level earthbenders can create a wave of earth to ride on and use it as a form of transportation, as Aang and Toph both have done, as well as Roku and Sud while training. The downsides of the wave are that it takes a lot of energy to produce, as well as intense concentration. The slightest distraction could cause the user to lose control of the wave. They can also force a wave of earth outward and use it as an extremely powerful offensive attack, as both Aang and General Fong were seen doing during their battle. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Umagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.